What's up everybody? Today, we're gonna to be making a pour over using the Kalita Wave. Boom! All right, this is the Kalita 185, and it's perfect for brewing cups anywhere between 10 and 24 ounces. Why do we like the Kalita Wave, you ask? Great question. It's super user friendly, and it brews a great cup of coffee. You've got these ridges on the interior and the wave design of the filter reduces the contact between the filter and the dripper. This reduces heat exchange and prevents channeling. Then you've got the flat bottom of the dripper and that gets you an even bed of coffee which gives you an even extraction. All right, let's brew this. First, grab 23 grams of coffee. Today, I'm gonna to be brewing my current favorite, the Ethiopia Shantawene. Also, if you're still using a grinder with a spinning blade, it's time to upgrade. It's time to let it go. Allow me to introduce you to the boss of all hand grinders, the Commandante. This is an awesome grinder, and if you wanna find out more, again, just follow the link to our shop below. Now that you have your ground coffee, go ahead and set up your dripper. Drop in a fresh filter and give it a rinse. You wanna make sure that your filter is sitting down there nice and snug, again, to avoid any channeling. Well, it looks like we're ready to let the brewing begin. If you don't have a thermometer, go ahead and boil some water and let it sit for about a minute. Your goal here is 195 to 205 degrees Fahrenheit, or, if you're feeling fancy, you can check out one of these electric kettles. Oh yeah. And let me tell you, just holding this fellow EKG will immediately make you cooler. Gently drop your ground coffee into the center of your filter. Okay, first we bloom. We're gonna take 50 grams of hot water and pour it in a spiral evenly over your bed of coffee. In general, you want your bloom to be two to 2.5 times the size of your coffee dose. And then we're gonna wait 30 seconds. Right now, your coffee is degassing. Degas stands for doesn't give a sh I apologize, I was misinformed. Degassing is actually the release of gas. Carbonic gas builds up during the roasting process and the bloom allows that gas to be released. It's a good thing. Once the timer hits 30 seconds, it's time for more water. Go ahead and add 125 grams more water for a total of 175 grams. Your goal here is to pour in a steady spiral pattern in and out and you want to have about 10 seconds between each pour. At a minute 10, go ahead and add 75 more grams of water for a total of 250 grams of water. Don't forget the spiral. At a minute 35, add 50 more grams. The slow steady spiral that I've been talking about ensures that the bed of your coffee stays even. This is gonna bring your total grams up to 300. At two minutes, add your final 50 grams of water for a total of 350 grams. And now, your coffee's ready to drink. Coffee can take some troubleshooting to get right, especially if you're new to pour overs. So please, be patient with yourself. Go check out our video on extraction to find out how all the elements affect your final cup and how you can use your taste buds to determine if your coffee is perhaps over or under extracted. Remember, extraction is key. Thanks for tuning in and hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Whew. Hoo wee. Hoo wee. I'm excited.
exhausted.